Paul's not saying gain is bad. Uh, he says, he doesn't condemn gain. Um, I believe that deep uh, within each of us is a hunger for improvement, a desire to live a better, more fulfilling life. Do you have that? Do you desire for your life to work better? Do you desire for your life to be more fulfilling? Do you desire for your life to be uh, more effective and therefore more uh, um, happiness producing, joy generating? Anybody with me on that? I mean, I gotta, I gotta figure if your car is banging, you go to the garage and get it tuned up. And if your life is careening, you try to figure out, you know, what am I getting wrong here? I want this to go uh, better. And, and the desire for gain uh, is not wrong. The desire to get ahead is not uh, wrong. Um, not at all. That's not what he says. A desire, jot this down, desire for gain is not wrong, but it does cause many to desire wrongly. You tracking with me on that? The desire for gain itself is not wrong, but it does cause many people to desire wrongly. A true gain is not more money, a better career, a trip to New Zealand. I've always wanted to go there, so that's why I say New Zealand. I haven't I've made it yet. Um, a true gain is, is not these things. What he's saying is, you want gain? You want gain? That's phenomenal. You should want it. God made you to want it. Just make sure you're wanting the things that'll actually lead to gain and not simply, you know, barking up uh, the wrong uh, tree, so to speak. God put the desire for gain in you, so just make sure you understand uh, the formula. Uh, 